What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Today, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how to cut a long layered haircut and we're gonna work our way around the head shape. I'm gonna do this in as few sections as possible and I'm also gonna work on body position and technique. So to get started, body position is number one. Really, if I think about how I would cut the hair here, my elbow would be dropping and hitting the head. So what I wanna do is I wanna shift my body position. I wanna be in front of my client like this and I'm gonna be pulling the hair this way so that my elbow is completely away from the head. So when you're thinking about it, when you're cutting this um, in the salon, you're gonna be standing in front of your client and bringing the hair up and around. I want even round layers around the whole head shape. And the way that we're gonna get that, the roundness of the layers, is by following the head shape of each section. So just working section by section around the head shape and pivoting through. That gives me that circular effect in my horizontal line and then my vertical line, everything's gonna be parallel to the floor. And the way that I'm gonna determine my length is where do I want this top layer, the top point of this haircut, to lay? Right around the jawline, I can even hold this hair just like this down with light tension and slide just to cut a little bit of hair. I don't need to cut the entire section like that because now I can elevate it Notice I'm combing it away from the face. This is parallel to the floor. I'm just gonna lift my elbow a little bit. I can see that hair that I cut previously. Love the crisp feel of that scissor. And now you can see how it comes back right here off of the face. Now I grab another section and I'm gonna push that previous section towards my new section. And I'm gonna go about an inch at a time because I don't need it to be like the most exact circle. I just need it to feel like a circle and I don't wanna to push too much weight forward or back. So if you have too much over direction, you're gonna to get too much pushback. If you have just slight over direction, so if we're just meeting in the middle here and cutting it, uh, we'll be good. We won't have too much pushback on the weight. So here, meet in the middle. Elevation up, elbow towards the ceiling. Then I drop off this front section. I get rid of it, clip it away. Just slide my clip up underneath. In the salon, I'd be fine. I don't know if I'd need this clip, but for you guys, I wanna show you that I'm getting rid of that first section, bringing with me a little bit of the second section into the third. It's okay if a little bit of that bottom falls out because you're not even really gonna cut Just for this last section, there's maybe a quarter of an inch difference. So I'm gonna go through and just just remove a little bit more because that's what will stand out right there in the front. So that gives us consistent round layering around the whole exterior part of the haircut. And now we can work on our interior, which is right here. The way that we're gonna do that, I'm gonna take out this clip straight down the center here. So now to work through the top, I'm gonna take triangles, actually, we're gonna start at the apex, the top high point of the head right here. We're gonna start at the apex, and I'm gonna pivot and cut each section. I'm gonna bring those sections like this all the way towards the front. Apex, down, create my first triangle. So we'll basically say there's gonna be one, two, three triangles on each side. So here is triangle number one. Basically over top of the opposite eye. So my angle will be like this over here and I'll cut it right about here. Just like that, that's gonna give me Little kick of layers. Now I'll grab triangle number two, which is from the apex down to the ear. 
I'm gonna bring that over to the same point. Just like that. There's my guide point cut. Then the last triangle comes from center back. And I just grab this portion of the haircut, wrap it around the face towards the front of the head. There won't be a lot to cut here, but there will be some. See there? Right there. Here's my line over top of the eye. All the layers. See how dead this side is? Not much going on. And how much life and volume and everything we're getting over here. Same thing. Grab my triangle from the front. The bottom part will start to fall out and that's okay because that's shorter layers that we cut previous. So this is actually, some of this will be a disconnect in the back, a little bit longer layers over the shorter layers, but it'll give it a really nice um, kind of sleek effect to the layered hair. All right, so now, kept the hairline out right here because I want to I want to blow dry this backwards off the face instead of forward so I pop volume through and then the last couple I want them to kind of come back off the face and, and bend out so I don't want to roll them forward because it'll just just give me volume and that's not exactly what I'm looking for just coming through here blow drying and having them come back off the face like that you see how it kind of flows off the face and this could be worn to either side or the middle. Um, you know, we cut it to go in the middle, but. You see all the layers through it. You see that, see all the layers, how they flow through. There you go. 